The story itself makes you want to know more, but it's just the... Well, it's a true story. That, that's sort of what is it's sort of worse. extraordinary. Mm. And the, the house exists, and I visited the house. Yeah. We shot a little bit of the movie in the house. She built seven days a week, 24 hours a day, mm. for something like 30 years. Well, there oh, was something God. like 600 rooms at once. There were 600 rooms at one point. She was constantly tearing rooms down and building other rooms as well. Um, half of the house got destroyed in the big earthquake of uh, San Francisco, and that's actually something we address in the movie. Um, so a lot of what's in the movie is absolutely based in truth. Yeah. Um, but she, she became a recluse and, um, and many legends grew up around her. And one of the legends that grew up about, uh, you know, in her lifetime was that she was building this house basically to placate the spirits of the people who were killed by the Win Winchester rifle, uh, which was an enormously, su enormously successful weapon. Mm. It was the first repeating rifle. Um, and I did get, I, I, obviously I visited her house and it's definitely, I mean, I think houses, I'm, I don't believe in ghosts, but I do believe that houses take on somehow the mm. spirit of the, an energy, uh, the, an energy mm. or whatever the word is, mm. the feeling, the atmosphere of the person who either has created it or lived there for a long time. And I felt Definitely there was a feeling in that house, but it's a benign feeling. It's not, and I spoke to the people who live there and they said, no, this is a, if there are spirits here, if her spirit is here, it's a gentle spirit, it's a kind spirit. And I did feel that in the house. And was it difficult to research? Because no, she didn't keep a diary. So I not imagine- Not easy to write. Very, no. very few photographs of her. Hardly any. She became, as I say, utterly reclusive. No portrait, you know, no painting portraits of her. Just a very mysterious little photograph of her sitting in a, um, in a, in, in a horse-drawn carriage. Um, yes, and and even there, you know, you can't really see her you face. Can't. It's sort of like she's sort of just out of reach in my research of her. I just. I was looking for her and I just couldn't ever quite you grasp You say her. that's like actor's catnip. When you see something like that, it's like, oh, this is something I really want to do. Yes, yes. Well, I, you know, I wanted to do it for many reasons. Um, it's a genre movie. It's a ghost movie. It's mm. not a horror movie. It's a ghost movie. Uh, I hope in the tradition of Japanese ghost movies, of, you know, the, there's some great ghost movies that exist. Um, you know, film is a very good, uh, you know, medium yeah. for, if, uh, it's your first medium ghost for ghost movie. You haven't, you haven't it's done my it. my first ghost movie. So is and it you... different making a ghost movie than... than from yes, it? it is. I mean, like an action movie, it's very technical. Um, this is more, more acting required, in a sense, than in an action movie, um, because it, it was actually quite dense psychologically. Uh, you know, a, a ghost movie is very, these movies are very constructed moment by moment by moment, shot by shot by shot, and, and then the, the editor, uh, the director and the editor are the people who have to be the masterful. And yeah. do, you like, do you like that sort of thing? I mean, do you watch sort of horror I ghost do. movies? Things that, well, I love the technique of filmmaking, you know, the yeah. technique of action movies. But what about horror movies? Horror movies I don't like. I, I, I don't think I could be in a horror movie. No. Especially nowadays that horror movies are so graphic. So graphic. Because mm. you can't even do but ghosts though, really, can I'll you? Go, I mean, I, I, absolutely not. <laughs> I, I, absolutely not. I just can't do it because I'll go away and think about it all the time. Yeah. And annoyingly about this, because I've sort of read what happens, I want to know but I can't know. Oh, really? You can't? You're not going to be able to sit through the movie, are you this telling me? This is awful. I'm looking you in the eye and telling you I can't watch your film. This is terrible. I'd well, say get this... someone to go for you and tell you all about okay, it. I'm yeah. going to go. <laughs> it's right up my street. Yeah. But I, I've saved this moment to tell you. I don't know whether you know. We do a, we do a programme on Sundays called Dancing on Ice. It's a very, you know, sort of big, big show, ice skating. And at the moment, it's filmed at Bovingdon Airfield. Um, and um, that is an old World, World War II airfield. It's still active well, you now. Have that must have Do you know? Absolutely, mm. it's haunted. Do you know that that place is haunted? No, and I, I haven't didn't. told her this. It's the first time I'd, uh, I've told her this. Why are you telling me that? <laughs> why, why, yeah, why yeah, yeah. Would... Apparently haunted by the old airmen who uh, who uh, the who flew died. In, yeah, brought their bodies, brought back from war wow. or whatever. Did you know that? Has anyone seen anything? Yes. 
What, some of the, on Dancing on Ice? Yes. Some of the crew have seen ghosts on Dancing on Ice. How do you feel about that? I'm not, not massively <laughs> keen to go back next Sunday. <laughs> um, the, uh, the, the, the look is also... It looked uncomfortable. I mean, and that's corset time, isn't corset it? Corset time, definitely, yes. Yes, absolutely, yes. No breathing, no craft services, no, no biscuits with your tea. <laughs> um, but, you know, a beautiful costume, um, but um, black. Yes. Mm. yes, 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 corset time, definitely. And then um, we were read in an interview with you recently talking about, you know, that now with the showbiz parties or events or whatever it is, you'd much rather be at home watching TV. <laughs> I know, yeah. And I mean, I couldn't agree more with you, actually. Uh, what, <laughs> Until what... I'm out and about and doing it. And, and then, then I like go, it. oh, no, this is great. I'm loving this. But, um, no, uh, you know, just before, I always just want to stay home. I bet. So what has persuaded you next to pry yourself away from the television and, and go out to work? What's the next project after this one? Um, good question. Um, my next project, I hope... I shouldn't really talk about it because, you know, it's bad luck, isn't it? Do you want some but wood I, of some sort? <laughs> yeah, I Hang can see wood. Right. Right. Yeah. Got so, yeah, I'm not sure that's real. Right there you go, here. just here touch that one. Yeah, touch that one too. There you go, you're welcome. <laughs> Double wham. Um, it, I hope I'm going to be making a film in London. Ah, <laughs> that's, okay. that's, well, that's not much of a scoop. <laughs> Is that it? <laughs> that's it, yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, I wish I had brought the chair across now.